What's going on guys? Welcome back to Combat Sports Central. Another news video for today. So sources have confirmed that Bellator, probably the last domino in the MMA world to fall, will be restarting events since COVID on July 24th. Now that will mean it's next week, Friday. So Friday next week, we will see Ricky Bandeas main event Bellator's card against the former UFC flyweight Sergio Pettis that will represent, that will serve as the main event. This was first reported by Combate and now has been picked up by ESPN. So it's pretty credible that we are going to see a Bellator event next week. And that makes it so that we have now had the LFA, the ACB, a Russian MMA organization, the UFC, and now Bellator MMA, all organizations are have or are planning to restart invicta fc has even planned an event to restart since the covid pandemic and i'm so happy that this was the one sport on planet earth that many multiple organizations are returning is mma they're able to help mma fighters feed their families get contracts to fight and give the these fighters platforms that wouldn't be available because there are so many other sports usually going on. That MMA is taking that sole spot. It's running with it as hard as it can right now. And I'm loving every second of it. As we know from yesterday, it was reported that UFC 251 sold one near 1.3 million pay-per-view buys. Now, you could tip the cap to Jorge Masvidal. You could tip the cap to the UFC. But it's one of the big things is the fact that it's one of the only sports. It's one of the only things you can bet on. At this point, because of COVID-19, but we are going to see other sports returning in the very near future. I'm extremely happy that Bellator isn't going to be like Glory and have to fold due to this, this emptiness of events. Like These promotions need to put on events to fill up the contracts that their distributors outline for them. And I'm happy to see that Bellator should be able to live up to what they need to to keep on running keep providing mma fighters with another platform next to the ufc widely considered the second best mma organization next to the ufc now also on the card bellator prospect aaron pico he's had a little bit of a skid recently but he still has all the potential in the world to be a great fighter the bellator just put him in there with some top level competition and hopefully now they let him start maturing and start evolving inside the octagon before throwing him in with the title challengers like that of the world. So hopefully we see Aaron Pico thrive in these new circumstances. And then Bellator also to add to this story, Bellator plans on running several events at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut on August 7th. August 21st and September 11th. These final three events, these events have not been locked in according to Ariel Alwani and ESPN MMA. But be sure to know that we will most likely, barring some unforeseen and crazy circumstances, we will see Bellator returning next Friday. So let me know what you guys think about that. And who do you think is going to win? Sergio Pettis or Ricky Bandeas? Who do you think is going to win? Do you think Aaron Pico is going to pick up a win on the event? Let me know all that and more in that comment section below. But that will do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to smash that like button. And if you want all things combat, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications on. But again, that will do it for today in this video. Love you guys. Peace out.